Hey guys, how you all doing? Welcome back. Offer again. Well, today is a different kind of video again. Uh, this is going to be my goodbye video to this place, my studio, my home for the past three years. Um, I'm moving to the States very soon and before it I'm moving to my parents and today I'm going to tear this place apart and it's hard I've been sitting on the couch for the past like two or three days trying to figure out how am I going to start and you know tear down the place that served me being my creative home my living home and was really me in many ways you know this leopard print soundproof things and I don't, this place is just me in a home um, or at least what I was three years ago and through the years I didn't do much after I moved here but anyways I'm, I'm rambling so I just want to make this video to thank you guys all of my followers and subscribers uh, students clients everyone you know you guys are the best and it was a crazy wild ride <laughs> living here and sharing the space with you i've taught dozens of uh, guitar students here i've set up prepared and leveled and crowned so many guitars I bought and sold so many awesome guitars and yeah it's crazy so i don't know if i said it but i'm moving to la actually i think i have but you know i'm excited and it's kind of a weird pool of emotions doing this kind of video also i'm not used not having a guitar in my hands so it's kind of awkward uh, but yeah it, i want to make this video kind of real and uh, I, I don't think i'm going to edit it i want to keep it you know as solid as possible and i'm going to pick up the camera in a minute and show you around but yeah, so many great friendships have been, uh, have happened in this place and students of mine have become great friends. Actually today I've had a last lesson with Oren, one of my students, and he told me he got a surprise for me and at the end of the lesson he actually showed me a video, a cameo video that Marty Friedman shot for me where he congratulates me on moving to the States and gave me some advice and that's awesome man, you know. I think if any guitar, guitar teachers or students are watching my videos, I think the most important things, uh, most more thing about being a teacher or being a student is uh, having a bond, having a relationship going on beyond, you know, just teaching the cool stuff and, you know, improving. You really need to have some kind of a relationship. I remember one of my teachers, the most significant one from my childhood, and um, we had a bond you know i admired him he was an old guy who was like 50 or 60 years old he was a great player but beyond everything i really admired him and we had a, a good bond and he was kind of my teacher not just for a guitar he was kind of my mentor if you want i was like 15 years old and yeah every lesson he like gave me some life advice and i think that music is really kind of an overlay for our lives and if you want to improve in, in music you need to improve in your habits in your life and i did that also in this place you know when i moved here i was i was a wreck you know i was drinking a lot fooling around doing drugs whatever and when i moved here it was like covid it was march of 2020 so i had a couple of wild months here and moving to this theme park where I can do what I want and I'm, I'm living below ground so I can make as much noise as I want and it's a big space uh, but after it I really cleaned up my act and sober, sobered up and decided I want to make that record that realized I'll put it here uh, if you haven't checked it out and I focused on it and I stayed away from drinking or partying or whatever and until now you know I never saw a reason to get back to it uh, if anyone who's watching is struggling with addiction or uh, of any type, you know, I promise you that life are much, much better without that, without that kind of dependency and waking up hungover and down and feeling like shit, you know, it's not worth it, seriously, and you got no money and you're hungry and people are not taking you seriously. I'm not trying to say that it, some people can handle it and some people have a great time partying or whatever, but I really found out the other side of life here and it's been great for me. 
So yeah, let me grab the camera and show you around. Uh, when I moved here, oh, my finger. <laughs> when I moved here, this place was really just a big room. It all had this kind of um, bathroom looking bricks, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, all around and I painted them. Um, here are my guitars, I had a few more, but I sold like five guitars in the past couple of months. And me and my friend Stevie, we build these sound sucking things with a leopard print. And, and yeah, it was really all handmade, this whole place, you know. Some paintings of my mother, Dave Mustaine picture that some ex-girlfriend got me. <laughs> And this clock is cool, you know, I took magazines and put it around like faces of some of the coolest rock and roll guys, Dimebag, David Coverdale, Joe Satriani, Gary Moore, some 80s chicks up there, pretty cool. And there used to be a bass amp here, but it's gone. <laughs> and this is my working bench where you've seen some videos of me working here. Uh, it looks like a mess, so I'm sorry for that and it's hard for me to watch, but I learned so much in this little corner, disassembling guitars, putting them back together, wiring, soldering, everything really. Yeah, it's been a trip and I'm going to miss that corner. I'm going to try my best to get something like that set up in my parents' place or in LA when I finally get there. It's important for me. Up there is where I was sleeping. It was pretty cool that, you know, I had this big space down here and my bed and wardrobe up there and kind of separating the two things, kind of having a creative space and a resting place is good to, it's, it's a good idea to separate it, or it was for me anyways. And my kitchen, these are the amps my guitar students would play, a nice kitchen. Um, a nice fridge where I can see myself <laughs> and yeah that's about it you know I'm really having a hard time starting to tear this place up you know after working on it pretty hard you know and also with so many people that I love my friends and uh, people who really been an important part of my life uh, my neighbor you have we used to live next door and he's not anymore, but we're still great friends. He had a big part in this place also. And yeah, every every little bit and piece that got here got a, a story to it. And it's beautiful. And I can't wait to make the same in uh, LA. I don't know if it's going to happen quickly because, you know, being a foreigner and moving to a different country, it's going to take me a while to settle down and I'm going to have to go around and be part of the scene connect with people you know it's going to take a while but i'm very excited about it you know uh, it's all for a good cause living this place uh, it's like the biggest the biggest adventure of my life so far moving to a place where i've always dreamed moving to uh, it's amazing and i really can't put it into words how excited i am and yeah that's it so i'll just wrap up with saying follow your dreams do what you love uh, stay healthy do some sports. <laughs> I know that I don't look like the most sporty kind of guy, but I did start running and going to to a gym and you know, just moving your body. It's important. It it helps your brain, it helps your body and it's good for you. And yeah, don't be afraid to be who you are, man. Just keep keep pushing on and keep doing the right thing. I just want to make one last thing clear. This is not my last video at all. I am going to keep making videos maybe even at my parents place but in LA for sure I just don't know how long it will be since I'll be able to you know have a proper setup where I can edit videos and record guitar or whatever this is the purpose of the channel uh, you don't want to turn it into anything else but um, yeah just keep being you and thank you so much for all the great times and all the compliments and good vibes you people have and i do have more cds left which are probably going to rot in my parents place for years now 
If you guys want to have an adrenalized copy, please contact me and we'll make that happen. And yeah, that's it, I guess. I'm going to finish this video and start tearing shit down. So, yeah, yeah I don't know. It's just hard for me to press on the button and start doing it, but I guess it's time. So one last time, guys. I love you. Thank you so much. Keep being awesome as you are. And if any of you live in LA or the area, let me know. And let's hook up and have a good time. And thank you once again from the bottom of my heart for everything. And I'll see you all very soon. Please stay safe, rock on. And we'll meet each other again. Thank you and bye-bye.